I see you got my letter, Commander. It's an honor to meet you. In the flesh. The less you know of me, the better. But by some, I am called the Dark Wolf. In the depths of the city, there is murmuring. Murmuring that nobles want you dead. I'd like to help. You see, I have hopes that the Wardens will prove more fit to rule this land than the late Arl Rendon Howe. His confederates are the conspirators. But to unearth their identities, I'll need resources. Fifty sovereigns. Too rich for you? I will wait. Oi, about time you showed up. The mayor, you're still here. I keep my promises. Here, turns out you were right. The cash is here in Amaranthine. It is? You, you found it? I did. What you do with that information is up to you. I for one am done dealing with mages. Word of advice, don't let him sweet talk you. He's very good at that. Uh, I guess I should thank you. <laughs> Damned right you should. You get caught, Anders? I'm not helping you again. That's all I'm saying. I uh, suppose that requires some explanation. Do I detect a note of jealousy? Nemea is a friend. Last time I escaped from the tower, I asked her to look into some things. That's why I was in Amaranthine. The Templars thought I'd come to take a ship, but it was to meet her. During the Blight, the Templars moved their store of phylacteries to Amaranthine for safety. My phylactery is among them, Nemea learned. So long as the Templars have that sample of my blood, they can find me. I need to destroy it. What's to stop the Chantry from deciding mages and the Grey Wardens are apostates too? I want to be sure they can't ever find me again. Ever. They might. I only know mine is there for certain. I know we're busy killing Darkspawn and all, but the sooner we find this vial, the better I'll feel. Well, this is more pleasant than sitting in a Templar cell. You don't actually think your jokes are funny, do you? Could have sworn that fly was buzzing again. Har! Let me tell you about my life in one word. Uh, oh no, don't take me back to the tower. I'm far, far too delicate. <laughs> I'm not only a dwarf, I'm a moron. Listen to me fart. Oh no, big Templar man. What are you going to do with that sword? <laughs> Ew. Don't play with fire unless you want to get burned, son. So, uh, you think there's an apothecary around here somewhere? Well, yeah, I don't want to bother you with this. You being my boss and all. Right, look, for the past few days I've had this burning rash. The skin's actually got a sort of greenish look to it. Right. Too much information. <laughs> Sorry. If the smugglers keep driving up the price of supplies. Well, 
if it isn't the Warden Commander. How have you been? I suppose congratulations are in order. And you. I hear the Darkspawn are not retreating as they should. It sounds like the Wardens have their hands full. I'd offer to help, but I'm afraid my presence is required elsewhere. The College of the Magi is convening in Cumberland, and I must attend. Hopefully, all this will blow over before it's begun. But you have enough on your mind as it is. I shan't trouble you with this further. Very well. Then perhaps you should know that something stirs within the fraternities. The Libertarians wish to pull away entirely from the Chantry. And if they get enough support... Pull away entirely? That's madness. I hate Chantry oversight as much as the next mage, but they can't just decide to leave. This is a recipe for disaster. The mages will never be free. The Chantry would never allow it. Our only hope for survival is to show them we can be trusted. Don't you remember what happened to the Circle in Ferelden? Do you want to give the Templars another excuse to call for the culling of all mages? This change cannot be forced. <sighs> this discussion will get us nowhere. Now, I have a great many preparations to make before I leave for Navarra. But perhaps there is something you can do for me. One of my colleagues, Ines, has spent the last few months in the Wending Wood. The Circle has been unable to reach her, given the trouble in the area. If you happen to find yourself in the wood, on your travels, perhaps you could tell her about the meeting of the College. Oh. Who knows, rooting around in the dirt for some obscure plant or other, most likely. She has a keen interest in gardening. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant botany. Hobbies and eccentricities aside, Ines is a well-respected mage and a voice of reason. Something we could use on our side. But I can't waste any more time. Good luck to you, Warden Commander. As there is but one world, one life, one death, there is but one God, and he is our maker. All men are the work of our Maker's hands, from the lowest slaves to the highest kings. I'm fortunate indeed that the Commander of the Grey has taken a personal interest in this matter. I'm sorry our note was vague, but Amaranthine is a hotbed of Maleficar activity. Details of who and what they were about would undoubtedly get back to them. Apostates and Maleficarum are all too common across the nation, alas. I have worked with an artist to create these sketches of the three suspects. 
If you could confront them and question them, you would be doing the Maker's work. Is anywhere safe? Anywhere at all? Immediately. It's not like Karam to be gone this long. I was sure I would find him at the inn. Remember that you are an example to your lessers. Listen to the chant of light every week. I shall do it. With trade halted, I can't get my silks from Denerim. It's just awful. It figures, actually. There used to be another statue here. It was a Byron Howe, my great uncle. He died in the rebellion helping King Merrick reclaim his throne. Yet his statue is gone. All because of what my father did. Don't bother. Nobody here will want to see it. There's a long line of heroes in my family. The Howes have been around since Callan had. Now it's all gone. And for what? For being on the wrong side of the war? For choosing poorly? Not too much pressure, right? I wonder what happened to the old statue. Likely propping up the side of a chantry or something. Poor Al Byron. You are statues of a pigeons. I don't want to look at it. Those smugglers are bastards for taking advantage of the chaos. on a ship to Orlay. Where'd you get the money? Sold everything we had. At least we'll be able to get away from the darkspawn.
Templars. Bloody everywhere. Must stay sharp. Templars. Bloody everywhere. Must stay sharp. Templars. Bloody everywhere. Must stay sharp. Why don't the guards do anything about these smugglers? You must keep calm, keep normal. Yes, everything is fine. I once knew must someone keep who calm, bought a piece of Andraste yes, Shinbo in the Amaranthine market. Delilah? Is that really you? Nathaniel, I had feared the worst. Times must have been hard, Delilah. But you can do better than this. Come back to the estate until we find somewhere else. What? <laughs> oh, Nathaniel, I didn't marry Albert out of desperation. I adore him. I was so glad to get away from father's evil. This life is so much better. Father's evil? Isn't that overstating things a little? He got caught up in politics. You weren't here. You didn't see what he did, Nathaniel. You want the culprit who destroyed our family? It was him, without question. I... had no idea. Of course you did. But you always worshipped Father, right from when you were a little boy. Come, brother. Let us sit and catch up a bit, shall we? She said she wants me to come back, once all this is done. Meet her husband. She's due by the spring. She seems happy. She said father deserved to die. I still can't believe it. I thought he had his reasons. It was a war for Andraste's sake. Before I went to the free marches, he was never... How could he have changed so much? I suppose not. I wish I'd known some of this sooner. I feel like such a fool. Now please, let's get back to our business. I need to think. <laughs> 